Okay, then. so tonight you join me at the Britannia Hotel, and this is what you get tonight for 24 quid on a Friday night. So let's go and have a look. Right then, so, this is the room. Right, for any doubters out there, just thought I'd show you the price that I've actually paid tonight. So it's £24 in a single room without a window. So I did look around Google, and this was the cheapest hotel in Manchester. It was actually cheaper than the local hostel. Um, so the local YMCA was actually 30 quid a night for a dormitory bed without a bathroom. So yeah, it's a bit dirted this place, but... Wow, is it cheap? So I have bought the cheapest single room I can get with no windows and I've got a double executive room apparently. I'm not really sure what's executive about it but we've got a window and a double bed so I'm happy. Right, so what do we get? Well, first of all, it's dark in here because there's no main lights in the room. So just like at the Adelphi, you've only got these bedside tables from yesteryear and uh, these lamps but I'm certainly not going to be bothered about that for the price I paid tonight for a city centre hotel with a window so there's also a secondary triple glazing it just goes here so is it there or is it missing <laughs> right okay so yeah it's missing so there's a bit there and there's a bit there but none here that's a bit of a shame isn't it I have got a view outside so it's not too bad I suppose right then what else do we get well we get a bit of a it's not really a desk is it but you can call it a dressing table I suppose I suppose you could use it as a desk if you wanted to but they've give us absolutely shed loads of milk look at that wow there's loads and we've got 10 tea bags <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to drink all that. Coffee as well. Cup facing the right way around. That's good. Right then, so is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. You know what? It's spotless. Happy days. I don't really have issues with these at Britannia. Also got a decent sized TV on the wall there. Right then, so what's in here? We've got a fan. Some extra towels. The hangers, uh, it's had some weight on that, hasn't it? To bend that rail. But we've got pillows in a bag there. Loads of steel bangers. And this is a new carpet as well. So all the way through this hotel, they're redoing the carpets. So you can see a nice brown carpet there. Right then, onto the bathroom. I'll work out how to get in. Don't tell me I've locked it from the inside somehow. So, so we had locked it, I've just managed to force it open. But this is the bathroom. So not bad, it's just bog standard. There's nothing special to see here. It's clean, it's basic. They give us soap in the sink. We've got towels on the rail and not on the bed, so that's really good. Is there any pressure? Well, that doesn't look too secure, does it? Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah there's, oh god that's red hot. Right yeah, so there's pressure and it's hot. I mean I can't really mourn at this, can I? So, let me know in the comments guys, do you think this is worth 24 quid? 24 quid on a Friday night in the city centre. Okay, so if you want to help me out guys, please don't forget to subscribe on this video. Uh, all these videos are self-funded, so it'll really help me out guys. Look at this. The 
it's all the new carpet they put in it. So when you're walking around this place, I don't know if it's just me, but I just get the feel like I'm on a ship. It really does feel like the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool, another Britannia. Uh, really grand staircase, isn't it? So all the way around this place you see the signs that are doing work. They're obviously replacing that carpet to this one. This is really grand staircase, this. Chandelier there. So this place actually used to be an old warehouse which was then made into a hotel. Uh, so it just shows you when Britannia want to spend money, they can actually do it right and it does look good. It's just they struggle with maintaining the hotels. Wow, look at that size of that chandelier. Yeah, it is massive. That must take forever to clean. And look how many floors up there are. It is a really grand property this, isn't it? It's just a little bit past its prime. Right, so this bit here is actually an on-site bar. It's on a couple of levels, goes underground as well. Uh, really good theming actually. Uh, and there was quite a few people in music, so I've had to mute the audio on this occasion. Um, it's not too bad. When you walk in, you're actually directed by security to go this way around to the reception and queue in them barriers there. A lounge bar through here. Oops, out for a function. Wow. Nice enough, isn't it? So obviously, all this will be open later. So this reception area here can get really busy, that's why they've got a queuing system. Uh, and they're not the fastest either guys, so be prepared to wait to check in. Um, yeah, you can imagine with it being city centres, quite a lot of people trying to check in at once. So another thing to bear in mind as well, with all Britannia hotels, you actually need photo ID and a bank card to check in. Gone are the days where you can have cash. Right, so I thought to do a Wi-Fi test. And this has cost me seven pound guys so although it is very fast wi-fi be prepared to pay extra for this this is the same at all britannia hotels it's free wi-fi in the lounge that's it and if you're in the room it's seven pound per day well at least it was quick okay then so it's the next day now and yeah i didn't actually stay the night that's got to be one of the worst sleeps i've ever had i got about half an hour sleep um and it got to a point at one o'clock in the morning where I just couldn't stand any more of it. So I came home. Um, what was happening? So both rooms next to me was having some fun, shall we say. And because of the extended time of having fun, my bed was shaking. Uh, there's no insulation at all in any of the walls. It's just an absolute nightmare. So you can hear everything which is not good when you want to sleep. Um, I was up pretty early that day, so I didn't want to have a late night. Then, onto the triple glazing on the windows. Because the middle bit's missing, you can just hear absolutely everything on the street and all night long, with it being a city centre, there's just shouting all night. So, 
Yeah, not only that, the bed was really uncomfortable. The mattress looked uh, a couple of, well, I don't know how old it was, but it certainly wasn't new and it was brown, so yeah, it is what it is. I definitely don't think I'd be staying there again. My recommendation for you guys is just pay an extra tenner and stay at the travel lodge. At least you know what you're getting. The decent beds and, you know, everything's alright with them. Right then, that is it for this one. Sorry I didn't video it, but I was pretty damn tired at that time. Um, okay, until the next one, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've not subscribed already, please do so, because it'll really help me out. Okay then, until the next one, guys.